Hey Toy Fans, Aaron here. I hope you're having a good week. Uh, today we're going to take a look at the 3 and 3 quarter inch version of the Wrath Tower with Balatik from The Force Awakens, but this is in the Last Jedi line. So let's head to that table and check it out. And a quick look at the packaging, you got a nice image of the Wrath Tower here up front, big and center. And then of course you can see Balatik through the window packaging here. Uh, this front image just extends around to the top side of the box. And then on the side you see Balatik. And then over here we got an image for the uh, Force Link bracelet that it works with both of these items included. And on the back side you got a little write up about what the Rathars are. You see the Rathar toy and Balatik figures on the center here. And then the upper right side of course you see the Force Link advertisement. And then below that the other figures that are also available in the line. And so right away out of the box you got some assembling to do. Lots of assembling. You do get a handy instruction sheet telling you what arm goes where on the body each represented with a letter. And then on the main body, you got little letters right here on the edge where the leg goes in. Like you can see D there. And then you just match that up with the letter on top of the leg and slide that in. I will say have a little patience putting the legs in. It helps if you kind of just give it a little twist and turn to help get that set in there. But once it's in, it's pretty good and solid. As far as the sculpting of the toy, I like the way it looks. You know, you didn't get a great look at it in the movie, but it seems pretty representative of what we saw. I like the way the tentacles are going all over the place. You know, each one looks pretty unique to itself. I gotta say I wish all the letters were underneath the arms instead of on top. Maybe with that lighter color it would have shown even more. I don't know. But that's a pretty minor thing. My biggest complaint with this overall though is I don't like the way the main body looks. The legs have this nice kind of gloss to it. Uh, same with around the mouth and then on the back side where the force link is that little piece cut out there That's a better paint job, but the main body itself very dull looking not I would have liked it to be as shiny as the rest of it It's kind of what it seemed like in the movie You know that wet slimy look to it and main body though is just this flat coloring aside from that Like I said, it is decent looking some of the fun things you can do is wrap a tentacle around the figure They got one kind of preset here so you can grab onto them and then what fun would having a Rathar be if you couldn't slide the figure in the mouth. So there you go. Just a helpful hint, if you squeeze down on the mouth a little bit, it'll help get that figure in there all the way. And as for articulation, you know, it probably goes without saying, since you just attached all the legs, each one of these do move, but that's all you're getting, you know, no uh, bending or any kind of structure in here to allow you to change the way these legs are shaped, or tentacles rather. Uh, the mouth is molded just in this one spot you know no twisting or turning not that you need to but like i said this part here is nice soft rubber and the uh, body has enough give to it so like i said you can kind of open that up a little more and let your figure slide in and then as for the force link sounds and sliding the rathar forward <laughs> That's pretty cool. And so you get a little bit of different sound when you go side to side as well. So I'm digging the sounds of the Rathtar with the Force Link. I like that. Sliding on now to Balatik. You know, I gotta say, I'm not really feeling the head sculpt here as far as the likeness to the actor that portrayed uh, Balatik in the movie. Similarities is there with the way the hair is sculpted and stuff, but just not feeling the likeness. It's a decent looking figure though. Painting looks good, eyes look good, eyebrow placement's pretty decent as well. Through the arms and main body, things are looking good there. Pretty well representative of what we saw in the movie. Got some black gloves painted in there on the hands, and then the rest of that suit is kind of a dark gray. But some decent sculpting in the molding there of the sleeves and the jacket, even through the backside. Looking through the leg area again, you kind of see that uh, top coat kind of extend past the waist, down around back behind the legs. Some decent sculpting through the pants, and then you got some black boots painted in there. So, overall, decent looking figure, just I don't think the likeness is actually there. As far as the articulation for Balatik, that head does swivel, of course, side to side, and you do get a little bit of up and down movement. Arms just go up and down, no elbow, no wrist articulation, and then the legs, of course, do go forward and back just a tiny bit there. And it's your standard figure, so again, no knee, no foot articulation. The figure does come with a weapon, and it seems relatively representative of what we saw in the movie. He did have a strap, though, on his weapon and had it kind of slung over his shoulder. I wish that was included here, but otherwise it is decent looking. Good sculpting, and aside from the black painting, nothing else special to it. And as far as the Force Link sounds for this guy... You're a dead man. Take the droid! The Rathtar has escaped! Take the droid! 
and then slide in your hand forward. No, wait a minute. You're telling me that this guy does not say tell that to Kanji Club? That's the only line I wanted him to say. Tell that to Kanji Club. Oh, well. So overall, this is a decent set. Like I said, I do wish that the uh, paint job was more glossy on the main body of the Rathtar. Otherwise, that's pretty good looking. And, you know, I'm not having the issues of the legs not staying in place that other people seem to have. So that part's working good for me there. And then as far as the figure, I don't think the likeness is really there, but it's still a decent looking figure. And so that wraps up this look at the Rathtar with Balatik. I'd love to know your thoughts on this uh, set in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching.